Senator for President of the United States, look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other person. I just spoke at, a, at Dartmouth on health care at the medical school, or not, I guess I wasn't actually on the campus, but the people from the medical school were at the, I, I want to be clear, I'm not going nuts. I'm not sure whether it was a medical school or where the hell I spoke, but it was on the campus. I want to thank uh, uh, Rich Fitzgerald, the county executive, Allegheny County executive, for being here. And I propose, and I'm going to digress slightly. I, here we, we're in a situation. I, the president asked me to head up a cancer moonshot. President Biden, just to be clear, would you or would you not rejoin the TPP? Yes or no? I would not rejoin the TTP as it was initially put forward. In Guatemala, El Salvador, and and uh, with to, to, to win and say in Honduras and say, look. I know I'm called middle class Joe. It's not meant as a compliment. Means I'm not sophisticated. And there's an area where there's an important difference between this is an area. There's an important difference between the candidates. I'm running. The country wasn't built by Wall Street bankers, CEOs, and hedge and hedge fund managers. This guy is moving to to just foment hate. The price for whatever whatever the drug costs are. Well, folks, I eliminate one tax loophole out of a trillion six hundred billion worth, for, a, a trillion four hundred billion worth, out of a billion four hundred million, excuse me, a trillion four hundred billion dollars. It's hard to even say it. It's so much. And by the way, it's cost a lot of money. It cost about seven hundred and forty million billion dollars over ten years. Every single solitary person qualified in community college, in college. Incre increasing number of six to nine million people. If you like your employer-based po policy, you can keep that policy. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. If you want to be part of this campaign, pick up your phones. Pick up your phones. Now, send a text to the word United to the number 30330. 30. 330 or 303 330. Or BOO, wait, wait, wait. You got it. It's out the back there. Now he's feeling the pressure of an economy that's teetering on a recession. To say that LGBTQ people have no civil rights. And immediately changed the law in the state of Delaware protecting transgender people. I took on uh, Putin in terms of uh, Iraq. I mean, excuse me, in terms of. Uh, uh, um, what was going on in Ukraine? Mm -hmm. My long friend, time friend, and she's a friend, she's been my friend in and out of public life, is... Uh, it will cost one-thirtieth, one-thirtieth, costs a lot of money, almost $740 billion to do what I want to do over 10 years, but not $30 trillion. Not $30 trillion. I'm among many qualified people. I'm the best qualified people person for this job. And the reason is not just to help people who have or, or in fact, are and like to get Alzheimer's. Because think of what's been adopted. Milton Friedman's notion that the only obligation. But that all changed for the Republican friends in the late 80s when they adopted Milton Friedman's notion that the only obligation. We find ourselves in a position where you're in a, you're in a circumstance where we've adopted Milton Friedman, Friedman's notion, the conservative economist. Now, if you're in fact you are in a position, what was the case? You've worked for Jimmy. That's why we're so special. It took courage. It took resili resilience. They know who we are. We have to let them know who we are. Yes. We can do it, and it's going to take billions of dollars to do it, and we can afford to do it. We can't, we can afford, we can't afford not to do it. Cut in half the number of uninsured of the uh, Asian African, uh, excuse me, the Asian American Pacific Islander community. Cut in half. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I'm so serious. Children, I love to hear them. But President Trump and the demagogues around, demagogues around the world.